number one enemy you need in your life. The enemies you need in your life. You need to have friends, but don't ever make the mistake of many people. By God's grace, in this particular video today, I wish to tell you one thing. That is not every enemy that you should a kind of be praying against and be pursuing out of your life. That even though you have seen them openly opposing you, openly showing you hatred, openly castigating you, is not every enemy that you want to get out of your life. Some of those enemies are those that are actually part and parcel of your destiny. And believe me, for everybody that is living under this earth, not everybody will like you. Some will definitely hate you. Why some that pretend to like you are actually the real enemy. How do you unmask the real enemy? Unmask your real enemy. Be sure of who your enemy is before you start fighting. Know that there are some enemies that are your destiny helpers, that are part and parcel of your life, where there are friends that are actually unfriendly friends. So if only you can follow me to the end of this video, you will actually discover who your real enemy is, who are these enemies that you must not pray against, you must not even hate, that must be part and parcel of your life because they have a key role to play in your destiny. Welcome once again to Jenny Action TV. In this particular channel, I discuss three important variables which are actually health, safety, and spirituality. Believe me, if you can understand how this three will work very well, apply them into your life. There is no limit to achievement. If this is the very first time you're landing in this channel, you're highly welcome. Please do well to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so that YouTube will always notify you as soon as I upload a new video. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much. I am grateful. I love you for all your comments, all your thumbs up. Making out time to watch this video. May God honor you and give you whatever that is your heart desire. If you are a new timer in this particular channel, irrespective of whatever is you are going through, just go through my channel. You must see one or two videos that will lift up your spirit that will actually help you. So with your wasting time, let's get straight to the video of today. You know that there are certain people that God has sponsored in your life to actually be part and parcel of your success story. Like I said in one of my last videos, that one of the things that will help you to be blessed and balanced and establish is the number of people in your life, that this world is actually a relational world. It is not a world where you are meant to abide alone. And know this very well, that so long as you are in this life, not everybody will love you. You there must be your haters. And I want to tell you this the ones you call your friends may not tell you the bitter truth of your life i used to tell you that in this channel my desire for everyone that is a subscriber in this channel is that you will have a rooted blessing that is you will a kind of be blessed be established and be balanced you have a kind of if it is in food we call it balanced diet balanced blessing not where somebody is blessed today and tomorrow you are not blessed so understand this there are people that are part and parcel of your destiny they may be your colleagues your business associate why are they part of your destiny let's assume that you are in the office and some people are opposing you seriously do you know that that opposition may make you to start applying for job in other places and before you know it you may get a higher job now you are living as a tenant in a particular place and before you know it your landlord is always against you even some tenant has been working against you the ordeal you might have passed through there we make you to say, I don't even want to rent another house because if renting another house, I wouldn't know what I will meet here. That the devil you know is always better than the angel you don't know. Like people normally say, do I don't believe in that ideology because angel will always be better than devil at any time. So what will it lead to you? Before you know it, you see yourself desperately searching for land to build your own house. 
And at the end of the day, you see, you become a landlord when you didn't even plan for it. Now the question is, those people, are they actually your enemy? Believe me, they are not your enemy. They are just destiny helpers that are planted along your way to make sure that your destiny is fulfilled. Now I'll go back to the scripture. I told you that once I'm telling you something in this channel and it doesn't have basis in the scripture, don't even believe me. Now the boy Joseph, who we, is part of the uh, person we analyzed the life in those series I finished last week, last two weeks if you're a new subscriber in this channel you can actually go through my channel by god's grace i'm going to pin some of those videos to this one so that you understand what i'm saying now when joseph has been dreaming that he is going to be a kind of a royalty that he saw the father and the siblings bowing down before him and he was telling it to his brothers and out of envy the day he came to a kind of deliver food to them, they now conspired and sold him. But what happened? That conspiracy to sold, even though they like planned to kill him before, but along the line, they now say, okay, no, let us throw him into the pit. And from the pit, he find himself in Potiphar's house, from Potiphar's house to prison, and from prison to palace. What has happened in his life? Now, those brothers indirectly or directly did not know that they are just destiny helpers they contributed to pushing him to the palace because if he had remained in israel probably that dream may never have come to pass now when he gets to the potiphar's house the wife of potiphar even though he was reeling this boy to come and uh, have fun with him but the boy refused and then he framed him up which now later led him into the prison. But do you actually know that at the end of the day, that this boy now in the prison, now got in contact with, with Pharaoh's uh, servants, who were also in the prison, from the interpretation of their dreams, they come to find out that he's a dream interpreter, and that was how he was recommended in the palace to become prime minister. He now brought the economic blueprint that actually solved the problem of Egypt that took him to the palace. And at the end of the day, his destiny come to pass because the father and the brothers later come and bow that knee. And that dream actually come to pass. So what am I actually driving at today? I wish to tell you this, that not every enemy you should be standing to be praying against. That today, if there is any prayer you should make, Say, oh God, connect me to those enemies that are part and parcel of my destiny helpers. That is one of the prayers you will start praying. So that when they now put fire on you, fighting you, they, are, they don't know that they are actually pushing you closer to your destiny. And before you know it, you enter into your destiny. For those that are Christian, even Christ passed through the same thing. And that gave redemption to the entire world. Because when actually... His disciple, he kind of betrayed him. After betraying him and he was killed, he said, the way he lives, he's going to bring us the Holy Spirit, that if, if he did not go, that the Holy Spirit will not come. Now, when the Holy Spirit comes, he's practically in abiding in the heart of almost all the believers. And what is the implication? The death of Jesus actually brought redemption to the entire world but if jesus has been in the world probably it may not he may not have all the strength to go to everywhere but now the holy spirit is doing the work that he would have suffered going from one place to the other to do so his death actually brought our redemption but i'm not talking of anybody dying i'm talking of the father you need to pray that god will connect you to those enemy one enemy you need that may be the one that will unlock your next level and that god will also open your eyes to discover who are your friendly friends because believe me, sometimes the friends that claim to love you may not tell you the bitter truth about your life. When you are even going astray, because they don't want you to feel offended, they will tend to condone it and pretend that all is well. And at the end of the day, you now make lots and lots of mistakes in your life without anybody correcting you. But it's actually that one enemy 
that you need in your life, who will push into your destiny, that will look at you, tell you the bitter truth, and it will make you to shame. So what am I driving to today? If there is one assignment I'm giving you, go and pray and say, Almighty God, connect me to that enemy destiny helper that will take me to my next level. That as this year is coming to an end, by the time I'm entering next year, I will be in my next level. If I have been a tenant, I become a kind of landlord. If I have been an employee, make me an employer. If I have been a kind of salesperson for another person, I will own my own business. Do you know that somebody can conspire against you? Go and be reporting to your the person you are working with that this person is doing this, doing this and doing that. Before you know it, God will open your eyes and you conceive an idea that will now make you to become your own boss. I used to tell you that if you are employees, strive to be an employer. And I believe that by the time you apply the principle I have just dropped today, that you will actually become an, an employer, a landlord, the boss of your own, and you will be in that your next level. That royalty status that God has prepared for you you will now get into it. So with this, I've actually come to the end of this video. If you find value in it, why not give me that thumbs up? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have not subscribed, also hit the bell notification so as to get my next upload. Also, don't forget to share this channel and this video to everyone. You might also be helping others. Thank you once again for stopping by. See your lady, Dennis Kim. Bye-bye.